Oh, oh, I can see. First one is Tulasi. Wonderful. Atiya, Saber, Rihanna. All enthusiastic are here. Okay. So let me share my screen so that I can give you a beautiful game to play. You know, Dr. Ram has spoken a lot about company industry <clears throat> and how they have grown. You know, when the company grows, and when the company not grows, even the starting period, they have their own branding. And in the branding, logo plays very important role. So let me see that how many of you are brand conscious and how many of you are well aware of the logos of different brands. Uh, Rahul, you are the judge. Okay, when I am showing this logo, okay, okay? yes, yes, you can uh, just see that who is raising the hand first. Okay, just let me do standard. I need to change. Okay, yes. Okay, so are you ready? So, uh, Everybody is ready. It is virtual hand, right? Virtual hand we need to raise. Yes, virtual, they need hand, to... virtual hand they have to. Okay. So I'm going to start again. If you know, you know the answer, just raise your virtual hand so that Rahul can speak your name and then we will give you the chance to speak what is this. And quickly you have to do because within 30 seconds it will disappear. So here we go, start. <laughs> Hurry up, hurry up. Yes, Atiya, raise the hand. Yes, Atiya. Yes, ma'am, McDonald. McDonald. Yes. So Atiya said McDonald, and let me check whether it is correct or not. Yes, Satya. Thank you. Now let's move to the next one. Be quick. Yes, Karthik. Yes, Karthik, you have raised the hand. I think it is already raised. Lower your hand, lower your hand. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, but... Please lower your hand. Yes, now no one is raising. Okay, okay. then... Now the third one. <clears throat> Yes, come on, come on. Come on, so easy. Oh my God, you are taking too much time. Lo, now it is complete. Okay, Rihanna. Rihanna. Yes, Rihanna. Is it Subway? Yes, Rihanna. Congratulations. Correct. Yes, correct. Now the next one. <laughs> Quickly. Uh, first of all, lower hand, yes. Come on, come on, come on, gentlemen, come on. Ladies have started their account. Oh my God, it's so simple now, it is so visible. Starbucks. <laughs> Yes, Starbucks. Okay, yeah, again. 
ಅತಿಯಾಗಿ yes correct and now the last one raise the hand don't directly and yes yes come on come on come on come on come on you Pepsi. can guess it you can guess it pepsi please raise hand and then answer so that i can miss like uh, give this is chupacho it is new even for me also so yes okay so who is the winner of this game rahul the game is over atiya atiya is the winner Yes please give a big round of applause to Atiya and send your reactions to Atiya send your reactions your clapping your thumbs up and your thank hearts you. okay so thank you very much now ladies and gentlemen let me begin my session today after this beautiful game and my session is going to be very very interactive because you know communication means we have to keep on talking and talking and talking and talking without stopping then only we can enhance our communication skills so today in this session we will be doing only four areas although i know there are many aspects of communication it's not possible to do within this period of time because you will get the time to practice and to present so that's why within within an hour i can do only these four things i'll try my level best to do these four things not only theoretical part but the practical aspect as well so let's begin with the interview so do you know this fact that when you go for the interview or when you go to meet to anyone not exactly for the interview only for any purpose if you are going for the business meetings if you are going uh, for the personal meetings or if you are going for the interviews do you know this fact that first way seven seconds are very important you create your impressions within seven seconds now how that is so difficult to understand that how we can create an impression that is favorable that is for us that is going to give us the winning edge that is going to give us the deal done that is only first 7 seconds and you have made your impressions and then rest whatever you are going to do or say will have a positive impact on the person's mindset so that's why we have to be very careful for our initial 7 seconds naturally initial 7 seconds will be not your verbal communication it's going to be your body language you know those those seven seconds will be your body language that is going to create the impression and as yesterday we have already discussed that 55% of our communication is just the body language 55% the way we stand the way we smile the way we look at the way we sit the way we uh, shake our move our hands the way we are nodding our heads the way we are looking at the person the way we are smiling everything uh, uh, plays 55% role in our personality or in our success insurance after knowing this fact now let us know that how we have to behave while in the interview so first of all when we are entering into the room we have to be very confident our poster has to be erect it has to be our stature should be like we are standing tall it should not be like we are like this sitting and we are very nervous and our posture is like this we are sitting into the chair like we will find some people they are just inside the chair and they are not visible their personality is not visible at all to the people who are across the table 
and if you find at any moment that you are lacking the confidence the best way is just take breaths deep breaths so you take deep breaths then count 1 2 3 and then breathe out and you will find after doing three times this deep breathing you will find yourself at the comfort zone and then you will be confident enough then some people you will find that they are doing the things like over confidence they are showing that's also bad over confidence means over smartly speaking uh, unnecessarily uh, touching the things unnecessarily smiling very broadly not soft smile but very broad uh, with full teeth visible so that is these are the signs of over confidence that we have to avoid now while talking to the people or in interacting with the people eye contact is important but do you know how long we have to have the eye contact with the person because if we are looking into the eye of the person for the longer period that's also bad that's going to have a stare blanking blankly so that is staring is not allowed only the eye contact is allowed now can you tell me what is the time duration that for how long we can uh, look at the person's eye and then we can shift the eye to the other person that or, or to the other object and then again we can come back and look at the person so do you know how long we have to do this how long we have to uh, look at the eyes uh, we have to have the eye contact with the person anyone any idea how long 10 to 12 seconds atiya is saying 10 to 12 seconds and somebody uh, else said something what was that less than 5 to 7 seconds, seven seconds. Five seven seconds. Okay, less than seven seconds. Somebody said. Okay, fine. So thank you very much for your responses, and you are very very close. Uh, it should be ten to fifteen seconds, not more than fifteen seconds. Uh, it should not be, and if less than ten second, it is so like it will be shifting so uh, often, and it will be very obvious that you are shifting from here to there. So that's why we have to be careful. that how we are looking into the eyes of the people those who are um, uh, in front of us either as the interviewer or maybe as a client or as you know, our colleagues now uh, during covid naturally we cannot do the handshake but once uh, covid is not there situation is normal so we have to give a very firm handshake and it should not be very loose and it should not be like your hand should not be wetty you find somebody's uh, hand is so sweaty that if you shake hand so you will find that okay your hand has become wet so we have to avoid if it is wetty then you have to wipe with the tissue paper and then we have to shake hand and it should be firm enough it should not be very tight or it should not be very loose so it should be soft handshake but firm handshake you know firm handshake is going to show your confidence and in the handshake always be very careful if you are shaking hand either with the lady or with the a senior person in these two cases uh, you should not like uh, extend your hand because in some cultures you will find that they will not like uh, you shaking hand they will prefer like uh, folding the um, hands or maybe they will prefer to put the hands like this so that we have to keep in mind when we are doing the handshake with the lady or when you are doing the handshake with a senior person then also we have to wait for the person to give the hand then only we can extend our hand and we can uh, do shake uh, handshake so we have to be careful in this regard then we have always to sit straight because the straight sitting will give you the confidence uh, please uh, uh, let me know that what is the definition of the straight sitting when we are sitting straight uh what will be our posture like our back our head our hip all these three will be if we are uh, near the wall all these three should be touching the wall that is called a straight if you are on the chair so it should be like all these three things are aligned that is a straight sitting then we have to smile in between and 
our smile should be a moderate smile it should not be very wide and it should not be very small and we have to always show our pleasant personality like we are a pleasant person now ladies and gentlemen what about like playing with the hair uh, circling circling the hair or maybe playing with the fingers and doing like this like this like this or maybe a uh, posing like this uh, sitting and posing like this what do you think about these gestures these are so cute na no? like sitting like this or maybe doing like this or maybe playing like the heroine of the uh, old movies uh, what do you think what is your idea about these gestures yes we should go ahead with this they will like it no ma'am ah uh, yes sabir is saying no ma'am okay so thank you very much sabir that you are right but these things are not at all permitted even playing with the pencils i have seen some of the people they are in the habit of uh, playing with the pens and pencils and they do it so fast you know they will play like this like this even in the classroom we find the children doing that but that is not a nice uh, thing to do in front of the uh, in the meeting or maybe when we are appearing for the interview so we should avoid even playing with the objects or things so now this hand is very very dangerous thing at times we play with the hand okay, like see i am playing on the table so sometimes we do like this sometimes we uh, uh do like this like this yes 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 and then we are doing like this so in this way our fingers and our hands have to be taken care of that how they are they have to be firmly kept on your <laughs> lap and when there is any requirement of like hand movement while talking you are allowed even to talk and to uh, give the hand movements also but it should not be very often Uh, it should be in a moderate way then always keep a pen with you you know because sometimes you will find while you are in the interview they may ask some questions that is required to uh, do some calculations or maybe you want to write it so at that time asking the other person for the pen is very very bad manner we should always carry a pen everywhere wherever we go whether we are going for the shopping or for the mall or to the interview or to the offices or for the bijli ka bill or for anything we are going we should always carry a pen in the pocket our mobile should always be in the silent mode and we should not take the phones in between saying sorry sir may i take this call it is very urgent so we have to avoid because that shows over smartness you have gone to somebody for your own purpose you need somebody's time so instead of wasting their time we have to be very careful how to maximize the benefit of the time then our feet is very important how to keep it you know as in the case of ladies what we have to do is we have to join both the feet and then sit in the chair okay that will be formally sitting in the chair and uh, cross sitting cross leg is also not considered as the uh, good gesture so we have to avoid cross leg then after that some people have the habit of chewing gums when they are in the anxiety or stress we have to avoid this we have to find some other way of de stressing ourselves this is chewing gum uh, chewing of gum is not at all permitted and neither again and again looking at the clock either looking at the watch or looking at the phone to see the timing or uh, trying to be very very friendly with the people so these things we have to avoid okay so now these are the body language and gestures like within 7 minutes where you have to create the impression now what you have to speak that is very very important so i have brought a sample for you let's listen to this sample because first thing everybody anybody can ask uh, to you is introduce yourself hi 
I'm Divine May Belia Daras, 25 years old. I'm a general virtual assistant from the Philippines. After I graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Office Administration, I work as a customer service representative for food delivery service and a technical support specialist for four years straight with one of the biggest internet service providers in the United States. I can also do some various tasks like social media management, chat support, data entry, transcription as my main service. Or even taking some tasks that is outside my role could also be a good thing since every opportunity is a learning process. And I'd be much more willing to be trained and to assist clients with business success. I am also taking some online course from FBA Business Consultancy just to gain a new experience to train my mind to handle any wide range of challenges in the future and most especially to make sure that I will be able to give a quality of service on our clients. Which I believe in the saying from Don Alden Adams, to give real service, you must add something which cannot be bought or measured with money. And that is sincerity and integrity, which I believe I possess. I also look forward to working with you in the future and I wish you all the best and have a great day. So, how was it? Is it worth? Okay, if you are saying it is not worth and you believe that you are the person who is going to do even better, then why to wait? Give me a sample, okay? But I am not a cruel person who is going to just punish you because of the silence that you did not reply to my question. I am going to give you some more practices before we go in the actual practice of your self-introduction within one minute. This is the another sample, please go ahead. Hello, my name is Andrea Fitzer. I am studying marketing at the University of Texas at Dallas. I am a member of the American Marketing Association and Alpha Kappa Psi, both of which are dedicated to shaping future business leaders. I hope to incorporate my business knowledge into consumer trend analysis and strengthening relationships among consumers as well as other companies. I am savvy, social, and principled and have exquisite interpersonal communication skills. I know that I can be an asset in any company and or situation and I hope that you will consider me for an internship or job opportunity. Thank you so much. So how was it? It's fine. It's better than you or you are better than her. It was good. It was good. Definitely. Actually, they are afraid. They are thinking that I'm going to ask them to make a video and send to me. So if you are afraid, your fear is correct. You are 100% right because I'm going to do that. I'm going to ask you to do that. So let us discuss first of all in the inter introduction. First of all, we have to naturally tell our name and then from which place to belong, we belong to. Then we have to tell our, about our quali qualification. And then if <laughs> needed, we can tell about our parents and our siblings because you know in some of the interview they prefer about to know about your family as well and then we have to tell them about our hobbies what we love to do how we love to do and then we have to tell them about our fascination for learning because this is uh, very very essential nowadays that you have to be a lifelong learner and wherever you go whomsoever you uh, interact whether in the school council or whether in the college council or whether it is a job interview or whether it, it, there is a uh, any client meeting or anything whenever you have get the chance you have got the chance to introduce yourself please ensure that you please mention about the learning part because if you are mentioning about the learning part then that is going to give them a good impression about you that you are a lifelong learner still you are learning still you are learning the skills in the term of skills you have to mention that which all skills you are learning and how that skill is going to add value to the company or to the organization or to the school or colleges so this is uh, uh, like simple um, a model 
that you can keep in uh, in front of you and now i will send you in the breakout room you have to prepare your writer for the introduction for yourself and then you have to introduce yourself in front of your uh, friends those who are in the breakout room and then once we will come back here then everybody will get chance to speak for one minute introducing him after looking at the model introduction and after looking at the essential parts of the introduction your name your place your family your qualification your your uh, skill and talents your hobbies and yet then your fascination about learning and you know it is not simply that my hobbies are this no i love playing this and this if if playing is a hobby so or it is not that my hobby is learning no i have a fascination for learning okay for learning maybe uh, coding for learning uh, machine uh, machine learning or for learning design thinking whatever is your uh, fascination to learn so that you have to mention in this way so i think uh, this is the time to go into the breakout room and for this exercise you will get 5 minutes time first you have to write and then you have to speak in front of your friend and then when we come back here in this room everybody will get chance to speak for one minute so thank you very much now let me send you to the breakout room welcome back welcome back all of you welcome back welcome back atiya how was the experience welcome back I, welcome back i have asked Hmm. Only Anjita has uh, given her introduction, mm -hmm. and and me. Okay, that's really good to know that you got the chance to introduce yourself. Welcome back. So now, who has courage to speak in front of the public? You will only first two will get the chance. first two will get the chance who uh, let me know the name of those two sadik was there sadik has introduced himself there in the room or no no ma'am he was there but he didn't speak and sabir uh, sabir was yes, there yeah yes ma'am he, he spoke Sabir spoke very good. Okay, so now Atiya has raised the hand. The courageous lady is here. And what about number two? What about number two? Only two people are getting the chance. Tulsi, will you? Tulsi Raman, you can speak. Okay, so Sorry. now let's let's start with with Atiya. Uh, Tulsi, madam, we should always grab the opportunity, okay? Because this world is full of opportunity. If you are not grabbing, then you will be behind. Why Amazon uh, has gone to the top? Because no one else was there to think in this way as Jeff Bezos has thought. He thought, he did, and now he is number one. This is the game of just thinking and doing. We need two things are there. Please don't don't uh, waste time in thinking. Think and do. Think and do. You thought you should introduce yourself. Just go ahead and do it. Okay, Atiya, please start your introduction. Then Tulsi will do. Thank you, everyone, for giving me a golden opportunity to introduce myself in front Then, of you all. Where is your face? Okay. Yes. I am Atiya Musar. I was born in Bengal, and right now. Uh, right now, I'm living in Delhi from last sixteen years, and I have completed B.Ed. As a uh, now, I'm I'm working as a teacher. Apart from this, I live with my parents, and we have four siblings. And if I talk about my hobbies, I love to making videos because when I make a videos, people appreciate me. So that's that boosts my confidence, and that's why. 
uh, it's became my hobby and thank you thank you so okay. much ma'am this thank is all you. about me. yes very good wonderful your learning part is only left that you have to mention somewhere in some way that what you love to learn so that is going to give us the interviewer or the person a good impression about you that you are still learning okay tulsi over to you good morning ma'am good morning i am aur tulsi raman i uh, i i'm look i live in uh, arupukottai i have completed my ug studies bsc chemistry in cyber banu chatria college which was affiliated to madri kamraj university i am currently studying uh, msc chemistry first year in uh, central government funded university namely uh, gandhi gram rural institute which was in uh, dindikal uh, i was belonging to a poor family my father and mother was a weaver and my hobby uh, as a uh, teaching teaching to my students see i am a part time teacher full time student i am playing a dual role in my own life that's god's gift i thought that uh i usually uses my free time to teach what i learn in my classes i i taught it to my students in my classes that uh, teaching uh, makes me a gold medalist in my ug studies now i'm traveling in this pathway this may give a great success to me at end i think so thanks for giving this golden opportunity to share my opinions and introduce myself thank you thank you ma'am thank you thank you tulasi and you know one correction only i will make rest everything is perfect yes, when you say that you belong your parents are poor and all that sentence is not required you know nobody is okay ma'am interested in sympathy you know everybody will look at your talent not what the background was you say it very proudly that my parents are weavers and they they make beautiful clothes for the people and that naturally without clothes we cannot live we are we are not in the stone age that we are we can go live without clothes so we have to feel pride in whatever you are whatever your parents are and whatever is your condition and situation like second part was very good that god has destined for you to teach and to learn both and you are very proud of yourself thank you very much it was really a wonderful introduction thank you so now we are moving to the second part at times what happened uh, dear friends that when we go for any interview or when we go for any uh, business meetings or anything so nowadays the trend is that at times we are put into the group discussion you know and group discussion is to observe our performance to look at us how we are as a team player and to look at us our uh thought process also how we think whether our thought process is logical or critical or which way we are going to influence the other team players in the group so first of all we will learn a few things about the group discussion that what we have to do and what we should not do in the group discussion so as far as the group discussions don'ts are concerned so some people think that if i am talking too much then it is going to give me uh positive points that is a wrong notion you know we should wait for the turn we should speak one by one one after another we should give the chance to all the team members to speak and speaking too much and snatching the chance of other is a bad manner that will go against you not in your favor mm -hmm. secondly when we are in the group discussion we should never raise our voice we should never argue or we should not shout very politely we have to show our disagreement if we don't want to agree to the point of the person and start with the agreement and then you can say that and i think in this way okay this is my point of view this is my way of thinking then uh, after that in the group discussion we should always try to avoid the confrontation because you know when we start the confrontation then everything goes in a wrong direction so that's why we should always be in a very friendly environment and a positive environment then there are people they think that 
they can speak whatever comes to their mind, whether it is relevant or it's not relevant, whether it is irrelevant. And in this way, just to grabbing the opportunity to speak more, they speak irrelevant things. That again is going to be against you. It's not going to fetch any marks for you, any positive points for you. So we have to focus only to the related topic. And then we should not try to dominate, you know, the wise people always listen to others and then they have to think twice before they start speaking that we have to keep in mind that wisdom is to listen more and speak less. And then while discussing in the group, we should not point out the finger like this. Some people when they are angry, they say, you said this right now. I have seen you saying this. These are all a sign of ill-mannered person. We should never point out any finger to anyone. And we should always give a very cordial gestures. And we should always avoid the aggression. Of, uh, formness is fine, but aggression we have to avoid. These are the don'ts. Now, what we have to do in the group discussion? We have to listen and understand the subject. First, understand the subject properly when the topic is announced, when the topic is given to you. Then always carry a pen that I have told you in the beginning itself that you have to carry a pen, then jot down the points, whatever points come to your mind and the points you want to emphasize. Maybe you have five points and you want to uh, emphasize the fourth number point. If you are going by the serial, then fourth number may not get chance. So always prioritize the points. Okay, this, my, this point is very valid. So first of all, I'll speak about this point. So that we have to prioritize our points. Then after that, in the, um, uh, in the group discussion, we have to look at everybody. We should not just make one person as favorite and we are looking at that person and speaking. So that, that again is going to make the other people whom we are not looking at, making other people isolated. They feel that, okay, this person has isolate me and not including in the discussion. So that's why eye contact with the group member is important with, with all the members of the group. Then after that, uh, we should try to speak less, but frequent. It should not be that at a length, when mic is given, we are not ready to leave the mic and speaking and speaking for 10, 15, 20 minutes. Instead of that, we should try to speak like one minute, one and a half minute, but, free, but maybe frequency we can increase. Then whenever we are addressing our colleagues in the group discussion, we have to always uh, address them with respect. And always, uh, uh, if we have to take their uh, names or the friends or colleagues, whatever, so we have to add some respectful words for them and then only we have to go ahead. So uh, these are some of the basic things as I remember when I was, uh, uh, I went for the interview of my BA entrance, you know, I did my BA from Delhi University. That is the most prestigious university in Delhi itself, even in India, you can say. So there the BA entrance was uh, a written paper. And then after that, there were three interviews out of that one was group discussion and uh, the another one was uh, panel disc uh, group interview and the third one was one to one interview so in the group discussion i remember there was a boy uh, in my group there were 13 people in the group and the boy was only talking and talking and talking throughout not allowing anyone to speak when the final list came we couldn't find his name at all you know, because the observers, they always observe whether you are a team player, whether you know how to respect each other, whether you know to give due regards and due time to the other people in the group or not, that is very, very important. And whenever we have to go for any meeting or for any interview or for any sort of uh, formal uh, uh, things, then we have to be in a formal attire. You will find sometimes the ladies, they are wearing very uh, showy dress, big, big jewelries, very loud makeup and very bright colors so that we have to avoid. Always we should try to be in the formal dress when we are going and strictly we have to follow this. 
our shoes, our sandals, our sari, our salwar suit, or whatever we are wearing, and the pant, coat, suit, tie, belt, everything, our hairstyle, everything has to be in a very formal way. So that we have to follow. Now, uh, naturally, once we have done the theory part, now it is the time, then we are going to have the practical part, like you all are going to participate in a group discussion. But what is going to be the topic for the group discussion? This is a very burning topic nowadays, and it is a show that is called Shark Tank. Since you are here as entrepreneurs and you have the uh, intention of uh, starting your own businesses, so it's very important for you to know about this show. This show <laughs> is the Indian version. Uh, earlier it is like it, it is taken franchisee from USA and Shark Tank India is the business reality television show. And there the people, they go, they pitch their product and they get the uh, sponsors because there are sponsors who are giving them the financial support uh, and, and in the um, against the equity in their company. So this is a very interesting show. Uh, if you have not, not seen this show so far, so I will give you the trailer so that you can have the idea which type of show is this. There is no English uh, subtitle. Okay. So uh, anyway, this is like a show which can be seen. They all can see as per their convenience whenever they find time. It is mostly in English, but there are certain people, those who cannot, uh, who prefer to uh, communicate in Hindi. So this is the Shark Tank is a very famous uh, reality show uh, that gives you lots of ideas how people are uh, doing in the market, especially in the Indian market, when we are doing in the Indian market, which products are in and how they are uh, getting the idea of the products and how they are pitching their products. And then finally, how they are doing the marketing of the products and how they are taking the sponsorships for their products. So this is a very, very useful show. If you have not seen, now you can see uh, whenever you find time, their English versions, you can see. So here now we have to do a group discussion on this type of that Shark Tank show, type of reality shows, how it is helping the India to be empowered India. How many of you are ready to participate in this group discussion? Gautam Majumdar ji, will you participate in this group discussion? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you. So thank you very thank much. You very it's much. on your video. You are in. Thank you very much. Now, uh, Mohammed Sabir, would you like to participate in this show, in this discussion? Uh, Mohammed Sabir, would you like to participate in this group discussion? Now, uh, Setu Raman, yes, would you like to participate in this group discussion? Yes, ma'am. Uh, Setu Raman ji, would you like to participate? Okay, so, so far we have received two confirmations for the group discussion. Uh, Ananti, would you like to participate in this group discussion? Atiya, would you like to participate in this group discussion? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so yes, ma'am. So we got three participants. Ananti, would you like to participate? Okay. Yes, so, ladies and gentlemen, we we got four participants now. If there is anyone who is interested. So you can participate. Still, there is a chance to participate in this. Daisy, would you like? Sadik, would you like? Rihanna is already at the workplace. She said that she is uh, okay, at the workplace, so she won't be able to participate. Uh, Setu Raman, would you like to participate? OK, anyway. Sabir, please switch on your video and Atiya. So you are four people here and you are going to discuss the famous business reality show. I must say the first famous business reality show, The Shark Tank. 
the shark tank how this concept of reality show is going to empower india going to strengthen india's youth what do you think about this you four of you have to discuss and the time limit is you have to discuss for 15 minutes your group discussion should continue for 15 minutes and your time starts now please go ahead thank you thank you very much uh, it is it is phenomenon that india is a multilingual multicultural multi racial uh, country so there are so many diversity in language uh, religious diversity it is phenomenon uh, it is a perception it is uh, it is perceived that uh, you know uh the upbringing of certain uh, communities or certain persons is a is a key role to uh, you know uh, to establish uh, uh, establish a secure future of a particular individuals so it is my point of view uh unless until uh, sometimes uh, you know sort of environment gives them sort of ideas or gives them sort of opportunity uh it's, sometimes it's bit difficult to grow his or her establishment or his or her you know the secure future or something like that that kind of activities so uh it is absolutely if if it is so in our country uh in our uh, areas uh, sort of development activities for empowering the women of the rural india so definitely uh you know the uh, pull factor from rural to urban migration will be less and it will uh, uh, keeping balance uh, uh, between urban and rural areas as well and at the same time rural industry can produce a lots of things which ultimately you know uh, create some balance uh, in terms of production of our country and economy and distribution of the you know uh, what is called uh, i mean contribution towards national economy will be uh, uh, in some extent will be equal because rural uh, rural industry will contribute the national economy at the same time urban setup uh, uh, whatever uh, related to industries or something like that so that also will uh, give sort of uh, economic boost to our countries so uh, we have to think how we can balance between rural urban both the side and uh, how this uh, produce uh, can be uh, can be uh, i mean uh, uh, can easily uh, bring into the urban setup through proper communications through proper you know uh i mean uh, transportation and everything and how it can be preserved into the certain systems so definitely it will give us the immense opportunity for boosting our country's economy so it is that is why we have to give more emphasis for the developing the rural economy rural industry in their home setup and sometimes it is phenomenon that the rural people usually come into the urban setup that is only two reason that is the economic or livelihood opportunity and as well as the you know uh, that is uh, for educational opportunity so if these two things uh, uh, we can put into the ground level in the rural setup so definitely the rural to urban migration will be balanced that much i can say so that is why we have to give more emphasis for the rural developing the rural industries and rural entrepreneurship development program for the particularly for the rural women folk yeah yes go ahead you people have to discuss so okay. what what as, about what about our uh, yeah as far as i think i think this this kind of show is very beneficial for those who don't have um less capital and uh, because many of uh, many of the entrepreneur were uh, give them a capital so that they can uh, they can give their ideas and creativity even uh, in india many of people 
are into doctors and engineers they don't want to be entrepreneur because uh, they because they have a thought process so i think uh, if this kind of show will be come in india so many youngster will go that place and um, give the, they can share their uh, ideas so i think uh, uh, so this is this is my point of view about this show yeah absolutely you are very correct um the ideas and innovations absolutely so uh, the the small ideas if if the rural women get the platform to get sort of ideas and creativity and innovation so definitely um it, uh, i mean the business development and business uh, sort of entrepreneurship development program can be you know easily function yeah thank yes, you yes we can thank see you, we can you. see in china most of the people are uh, work uh, in every field they yeah. they don't have a thought process that they only go for uh, doctors and in engineer engineers right right i think this kind of uh, this kind of thought process should be in our our country also yeah yeah absolutely so that is why it is it is it is absolutely to penetrate the ideas among the peoples that doctors and engineers are not the ultimate or professors are are not the ultimate every individuals are unique in their nature unique in the their potentiality everything thank you thank you apatia thank you very much thank you uh, one thing i want to add uh, that this type of reality show in india help us help us all to become a job giver not job seeker mm -hmm. right nowadays nowadays as we are uh, seeing the uh, un unemployment or the unemployment in unemployment is arising so much after the covid the, so much uh, uh, we have feel it but the fact is that we have to create we have to create the employment we have to create so we have yes. to work work in that area na mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely what ananthi so, has to the, say about this please involve ananthi also in the discussion um we are not uh, looking on yeah ananthi is there hi ananthi uh, please yeah yeah please sorry ma'am i don't know detail about this so mm -hmm. what do you think about the entrepreneurship uh, in india do you But think the people do you think the people should wait for the government jobs and waste their time in the uh, waiting for the government jobs or they should start their own works a small or big whatever start own works uh, i i choose uh, in my future i the, i develop the, my own business develop own business my aim is uh, i develop own business okay very good mm -hmm. that's a great so thank you very much please give a big round of applause to all these four participants except gautam majumdar ji has taken uh, maximum time otherwise uh, three of you have spoken reasonably the only thing is that we have to participate in such type of group discussion quite often like even if you are sitting four people together you can start discussing on any of the constructive topic instead of just discussing the cricket match for the men and for women the bollywood so discussing the bollywood and cricket match is not going to help you out is not going to give you much ideas uh, rather than you have to discuss such type of topics that's going to help you out for your future maybe you can generate new ideas for your own businesses you can become an entrepreneur or maybe you can generate the ideas uh, that you can help others how they can become the entrepreneurs so that is very very important group discussion uh, you cannot participate overnight it is not introduction that one minute introduction you have mug up and you have memorized it and you are going to reproduce it for this you need practice how to speak in a group like ananthi was throughout the discussion waiting that somebody will point out and then only she will speak so we have to just wait for the friend where the friend is completing some sentence or some talk immediately you have to just start that yes in my opinion i think it is like this 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 and we should do like this like this like this so anyway for the 
first presentation uh, maybe from atiya sabir and ananti it was the first presentation it was fabulous and wonderful thank you very much and keep working like this and you will find that one day you are going to be an expert of all these things gautam majumdar ji thank you thank you ma'am sharing your thoughts so thank you thank dear you so everyone. much thank you very much for now as i that. promised that i am going to take four topics but out of these four i have completed only three topics i have completed interview i have completed self introduction i have completed group discussion now pitching is left and this pitching i am going to take in my next session tomorrow when i am going to talk about the personal leadership and then personal leadership your niche your purpose and the pitching for your purpose i am going to take tomorrow i hope this session was fruitful for you all thank you very much and take special care of yourself take care thank Bye -bye. you so much ma'am welcome now over to you rahul yes. any questions you can ask good afternoon